Number 26, the formula A equals P times E to the point zero eight T gives the amount A that a savings account will be worth after initial investment P is compounded continuously at an annual rate of 8% for T years. Under these conditions, how many years will it take and an initial investment of $1,000 to be worth approximately $5,000? So let's underline these questions, or this question rather. And we know that P, our initial amount, is 1000 And we know we want to find out how long it's going to take us, T, until we have $5,000. So they give us the equation A equals P times E to the 0.08T. T is our time. Whoops. And we can see 0 0.08 here represents this 8%. We have the constant E. So we have $5,000 is what we're trying to find out how long it's going to take to earn or have it rather in our account. We start with 1,000. We have that times E to the point 0, 08 T. So I divide both sides by 1,000. And I have 5 equal to e to the point zero 0.08t. Now I want to solve for t. I'm going to take the natural log of both sides. We know that the natural log of e is equal to 1. So if we natural log both sides, the natural log of 5 equals point zero 0.08t. When we take the natural log of e, again, it equals 1. So it brings this down. It's just point zero 0.08t. Now we're going to plug in on our calculators the natural log of 5 here ln 5 and we get 1.6094 now we go back to our problem here 1.6 uh, 0 0.09 is good enough equals 0 0.08 t we solve by t by dividing both sides by 0 0.08 and we get approximately 20.11 equals t. So 20.1 is the correct answer. If you don't know e, it's a constant used to find um, compounded interest continuously, and you should definitely look into that in natural logs and review those.